Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario back again with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Funko stock, FNKO stock. And the reason why is because today had a huge move. Uh, I was up over 20% during intraday hours today. I did buy it, uh, but there's a lot of stuff that I wanna go over in terms of fundamental analysis, technical analysis, all the good stuff and why I bought. A lot of had to do with the article that was started circulating all over Wall Street related an interview that uh, the CEO of Funko Stock did a couple uh, days ago regarding how they were going to get into the NFT space uh, and how they're going to disrupt the NFT space. So I'm going to go over all that article stuff. As you guys all know, the NFTs have been, uh, been very, very hot. They've been uh, moving a lot of artists, musicians, influencers, YouTube influencers. Everybody wants to get into the space. You know, it's based on all the the blockchain technology on the crypto technology uh and it allows you know a lot of artists uh and creative people to kind of protect their their work and and earn money and earn a really good living so i'm going to go over the details about uh funko stock where i bought where i'm looking to buy more if it pulls back i'm going to go over the fundamental analysis and technical analysis so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe down below to this youtube channel and let me know what you guys think, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Funko stock, the NFT space. Have you guys gotten any? Have you guys bought anything? Uh, let me know uh, on the YouTube comments down below. Let me uh, share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do first, guys, I am going to share uh, my Weeble account really quick. I, 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 am, I do have a public Weeble account uh, that I am sharing. Uh, as you guys can see, I do own Funko, FNKO. I did buy today. I did buy around nineteen dollars and twenty cents. Uh, definitely, it pulled back a lot today. If you guys look at the uh, intraday chart, uh, so let me kind of show you guys where uh, the five-minute chart here. Uh, there you go. So the article started to cir circulate around this time, uh, around uh, the uh, around lunch hour, and it started kind of spike like crazy, uh, and it broke over this twenty level, and that's when I got interested. Uh, one of the main reasons why I got interested was because of the volume. The volume is huge, guys. The volume is, is huge compared to like, uh, I guess you could say uh, other days. Uh, definitely, uh, I think over 30, yeah, over 30, 30 million shares were traded just today, uh, which on average, you know, yeah, 31 million shares were traded. So that's, that's pretty huge, guys. Uh, compared to other days, it, it trades like, like uh, I believe uh, I do have it right here, actually. The average uh, day of volume is not under a million a million shares, uh, seven hundred thousand. Uh, so today, uh, relative volume is forty four times the relative volume, which is a huge. So I, again, I did buy nineteen uh, twenty. Um, I am looking to buy more if it pulls back to fifteen. Uh, so those are the areas that I'm looking at. If you guys look at the uh, the other tentacles, like the uh, moving averages. It is um, trending really well on using the, uh, the 60 moving average, the 120 and the uh, five day moving average. So that looks really good. Uh, in terms of the Bulger bands, um, it is definitely trading uh, near or about, uh, around the, the top of the Bulger band. So any pullback to 15, which will kind of be the, the middle of the uh, Bulger band area. I'm, again, like I said, I'm very, very interested in that area and I'm definitely looking to hold long term. Okay, so that's pretty much for technical analysis that I want to cover. Uh, so what I want to go over now is the fundamental stuff, the fundamental analysis and, and why I'm very interested in Funko stock and FNKO stock for the long term. So let's kind of go over. Now, they reported the, the, the fourth quarter earnings were reported on March 11th of this year. Uh, and I want to go over some of the key highlights really, really quickly of why I am looking for this stock in the long term. Uh, and not just because of NFTs, but because of their fundamentals, how well they look. Uh, now, Funko re reports a fourth quarter 2020 sales of 227 million, up 6%, and provides 2021 outlook uh, for 25 to 30% sales growth. That is big. That is huge. 25 to 30% sales growth for 2021. Uh, that's pretty big, guys. That's huge. That's re really huge. Uh, so I'm going to go over uh, some quick highlights. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the quarter uh, fourth quarter 2020 financial highlights just really quickly. Uh, so the net sales again increased to six percent to 226.5 million. Uh, gross margin increased to 37.2 uh, percent. 
increases uh, SNG, SG&A, which is sales uh, growth and, and administrative expenses or operating expenses, it decreased by 6%, which is really, really good. So they're decreasing their, their, their operating expenses and increasing their, their sales, that increases the profit margin. Uh, so look at net income. So then that's what it matters, net income. Net income increased to 21.2 million uh, to 14.9 million. Uh, and net income margin expanded 950 basis points to 6.6%. And that is good. That is good. Now, they, they, in terms of the um, net income margin, what happens is when the sales grows, uh, sometimes some companies or expenses grow with it. Uh, but in this case, it looks like their margin increased. That means their sales went up, but their operating expenses went down. Uh, and this is pretty much with the SG&A expenses right here. They decreased to 6%. Uh, which is pretty big. So that's good. That's really, really good. The other thing that I want to cover really quickly is the 2021 outlook. Again, that's what really matters. I mean, you just want to buy a stock and, and had a really quarter, good quarter, but you want to um, buy a stock and invest for the future. So the guidance, the 2021 guidance and the outlook, that's important. That's really, really what matters. So looking at the guidance, let me take a look at that. So nails, net sales growth of 25 to 30 percent. Uh, that's what they're, they're estimated for 2021. Ad adjusted EBITDA, which is earnings before interest, taxes, and depreciation margins of 13.5% to 14%. Adjusted net income of 44 million to 51 million based on a blended tax rate of 25%. And adjusted earnings uh, per diluted share of uh, 84 cents per share to 96 cents per share based on estimates, estimate, estimated adjusted average diluted shares outstanding of 52.5 million for the full year. So that is huge, guys. So it looks like there is a, a huge growth potential. Again, estimated sales growth of 25 to 30% for 2021. Uh, and not only that, but their operating expenses are seem to go down. So that increases their profit margin. Uh, and that's pretty much the adjusted, adjusted EBITDA margin. Uh, and expected it to grow from 13.5 to 14%. So that is huge. That's a 500% or 500 basis point uh, difference. So now let me go over the news. You know, why was, um, you know, why was Funko stock moving today? Cause that's really, really what matters. And I'm going to go over that those articles and kind of show you a little bit more in depth of what really made this move or caused this move. So there was this article posted on Tuesday, March 16. Uh, and it said, uh, is Funko the next big NFT winner? Um, and it's, this is very important, guys, because NFTs are, uh, are moving. NFTs are actually all the rage. Everybody trying to get into the NBA, uh, artists, musicians, everybody trying to get into the NFT space. And there's been some put people putting some big money into the space, guys. So uh, I know, I don't know if you guys heard, but the Twitter CEO sold uh, the first tweet for like over $20 million, something crazy. So, um, you know, it's definitely a big thing. So again, NFTs are non-fungible uh, fungible tokens. Uh, and again, it's been a trend uh, for 2021. Uh, and, and, you know, they're the new trend in cryptocurrency, uh, digital assets, guys. And that's why they're important because it's based on the blockchain chain technology, uh, the crypto space, and that's why people like it. So uh, toy collectible company Funko, you know, being that they are a pop culture uh, consumers products company, they're a collectible company. They, of course, want to get into the space, but they want to disrupt the space. Uh, and I want to kind of go over what the CEO talked about, you know, the CEO and again, Funko talks, and this is the uh, Funko CEO, Brian Mariotti uh, shared what could be the first public comments from Funko in its NFT plans. And this is huge guys. This is what really matters right here. We're excited about it. And we have plans in place. We have a plan in place. This is huge. We have some technology in place. We are going to be uh, the market fairly soon. We're going to be in the market fairly soon again. Uh, and, and that was again said on March 16. Uh, and we have the ability to disrupt this space in a way that nobody else is doing right now. We can tie digital NFTs to our fan base and link entities with physical products. Uh, so that's pretty much huge. So they, what they want to do is they want to of course, link the uh, digital NFTs with the physical products. Again, they are a consumer product company. They, they're the ones that create kind of like the little figurines you guys see behind me. Uh, if you guys see those ones from, from Monsters, Inc. Uh, and the Incredibles are right behind me. Those type of products, are very, they're, they're collectibles that people like to buy and collect. 
Uh, and now they want to combine the digital versions, the NFTs digital versions with the products uh, and not, uh, not uh, pretty much any, nobody else is doing that actually, to be honest. So they're going to try to disrupt that space in, in that way. So I want to kind of go over uh, really quickly. Uh, this is the actually live interview from Yahoo. Just show you guys a small little clip. Um, and, and so you guys can kind of uh, listen to, you know, what was discussed. Uh, so you guys can kind of uh, take a look for yourselves. All right, here you go, guys. Either as a business or just personally as someone who is, um, you know, certainly creative and, and sees these trends, you know, kind of crop up from time to time. Um, and I'm just curious, uh, you know, kind of where your head is at with that kind of stuff. We're excited about it. And we have a, a plan in place. Uh, we have some technology in place. Uh, we are going to be on the market very soon. We're going to be on the market in a very different way. We have the ability to disrupt this, this space in a way that nobody else is doing right now. We can tie digital NFTs to our fan base and link NFTs with physical products. And that's not happening right now. So for example, we had a, a, a pack of NFTs, I won't mention licenses right now, but there's a few rare ones. If you have those rare ones, we're gonna give you a free product that's tied to that rare NFT, which means you have a super rare physical product that ties to your super rare NFT. That's disruptive, that's new, it's different, it's only what Funko can do. And uh, we're really excited about what the future of NFTs are. We're certainly all over this. And uh, I think you'll see something better uh, very soon from Funko in the market. There you go, guys. That's pretty much what I wanted to uh, kind of show you guys. Uh, so what I'm going to go over next, I'm going to go over the uh, shard, um, the uh, Finvis shard, and kind of show you guys uh, maybe some analyst upgrades, things like that, uh, with some other analysts. Now, the, the, the trend is strong. I love the trend. The trend is very strong. And like I said, today was pretty much one of the biggest volumes it's had in, in actually a long time. If not ever, I don't think uh, over uh, 30 million shares have been traded in Funko stocks since the stock went public. And just to kind of show you guys, let me kind of go back to the to the um, to the uh, uh, my Weeble chart. So if you guys could see, uh, we're looking at over 30 million shares, um, and you guys could kind of see the over here the volume right here. Uh, over 30 million shares traded today. See, volume 31, 31150107. Um, and you go all the way back, you know, to when it went IPO in 2007, I believe. Uh, nope, it has not reached that kind of volume. So it looks like a lot of people bought in. Uh, so that's the technical side that I want to mention. Huge, huge volume. Uh, relative volume meaning is a uh, 44 point times the average volume that's trading a day, traded today. Um, in terms of the stock, the market cap right now is around floating around 800 million. Once it hits the 1 billion, I really see other institutional investors coming in because a lot of institutional investors like to invest in stocks. There are at least 1 billion in market cap. So it's pretty much almost there. Uh, so I really like that. Uh, the float is very small, which means it could be a lot, a lot of uh, huge movements. Kind of pretty much like what we had today it was up over 20% today intraday. It did pull back, but it was definitely a huge move today. Um, and and then ended up being up like close to 10% for the day. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, what, what I wanted to mention. It also has a 12.5% short float interest. Uh, now, that could have been the reason why the stock had a huge move. It could have been that a lot of those uh, short sellers had to cover their, their shorts and they got squeezed out. And that's why we had this huge move because uh, there was a huge influx of volume. And kind of show you uh, again into the intraday chart. You know, we had this once the, 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 it started circling, that article started circling, uh, huge volume started to come in. And to me, it looks like some of the short sellers started to cover in. So we'll see if there was more short sellers out there. I mean, according to the short ratio, which is 3.31, that means it should take around, based on the volume, to take around three days to, to cover. But again, over uh, 30 million shares were traded today. So most likely they did cover. Uh, we had like what, we, what I call, what a lot of technical traders, investors call a uh, float rotation, where the float, uh, where the float rotates pretty much. So when you have a, a, the float of 18 million and shares were traded of 31 million, that means that it was rotated. The whole float pretty much traded uh, and, and it, people, short sellers, buyers uh, exchanged hands. 
Um, and, and that's pretty much what we, we had. So um, we, the flow rotated like almost um, 1.5 around there. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. This is pretty huge. Uh, so in terms of analyst upgrades, I really like uh, JP Morgan. Again, the reason why is they're a tier one uh, analyst. Uh, you know, a lot of institutional investors look at what they're saying because they're more, the, the, JP Morgan is one of the most um, sought out banks in terms of uh, um, credibility and things like that. So what they say, a lot of people pay attention. Uh, and they actually have a price target of 20, which it kind of hit today. You know, it actually had a high of 21.17. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow if, if that price is tested again or if we break 20 and we kind of go higher. So I'm looking for higher uh, and hopefully we do that. Um, but pretty much that's it, guys. So um, again, guys, um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Let me know in the YouTube comments what do you guys think of Funko Stock, FNKO Stock. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the NFT space. Have you guys bought any? Have you guys invested money any? Let me know. I'm curious to know what you guys are, are you guys, your thoughts. Uh, also, don't forget these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes only. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below, and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.